Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to my another topic of Nest.js Advanced series. Here we are going to talk about Nest.js events. I mean, this is really one of the popular topic, how we handle the asynchronous events in Nest.js. And it's not a new concept. It is the same events package, which is provided by Node.js to emit the event from somewhere and then handle the event asynchronously at somewhere else. But both should be emitted through the same event emitter object. So on the same, Nest.js provides this event emitter. So here we are using Nest.js event emitter. This is actually a package which is available. And uh, the scenarios are similar. Like let's say we are creating a user and we wanted to send a user signup email once the user is created. So user signup email is asynchronous and needs to be emitted once user is created successfully. So the actual request response doesn't need to wait for the email to be sent, right? You, you create a user and you get the response back. You don't need to worry about user created event because this user created event will be emitted and this is going to be asynchronous event and this email send task will also be asynchronous. So you don't need to block the main execution flow uh, and wait until the email is sent and then send the response back. Request response will be instant but in the background you can just Im emit asynchronous event and that will be handled through this handler which will handle the sending task e email sending task this is the event emitter of uh, node.js and it's built on top of that only nest.js event emitter that is sending uh, i mean you need to emit an event from the source and there is a handler which is going to handle the event like event emitter dot emit event emitter dot on these are the two methods which we have so from one place you will do this dot event emitter dot emit and on the other place so it's event name and the payload the object and on the other place where you are handling you will do own event order created and you will get the payload which is being passed so you are sending something from somewhere and you are handling something in the same instance somewhere else but it is uh, asynchronous request scope so you don't need to worry about okay handling this asynchronous task you can just put a event name and you can also put a wildcard that all these events which are starting with the orders uh, colon will be handled by this handler so we are doing some user create and then at line 34 i'm just doing one thing this dot event emitter dot emit order created and i'm just sending order created event and then there will be a handler so the use case is simple whenever you wanted to execute something asynchronously without blocking the request response cycle then you can just use a event emitter nest.js event emitter and this will get executed right after when you emit this but it will happen asynchronously so your request will not need to wait until the this particular task gets completed okay so we just need to do this uh, this dot event emitter dot uh, uh, for root and then you just write your service inside your service uh, add your method and then just you do this dot event emitter you need to add that inside a constructor event emitter and then there is another handler in the same uh, nestjs app handler can be a part of any other service okay and you can see these are the events which we are generating and then there is a handler which is putting this in the console log event object so in the event object this is object inside object we are getting the name and the description okay so this is pretty much about node.js events how we emit